everyone, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. Today's video is all about CS and Life Science Unit 6, Plant Physiology. CS and Life Science Unit 6 or Plant Physiology, people say like this is a botany thing. So from microbiology, biotechnology field students, they always say that it's a botany thing, we're not going to read it. Please don't do that. This is one of my favorite unit. Although I'm not a big fan of botany, I don't study that in that way. But this is not the classical botany that you make you feel bored. This is something of a like plant physiology portion which is more important. So if you study this, it's going to definitely help you. So unit six for CS and life science, that is the plant physiology unit. And you must read this, you must prepare this and must appear in the exam with this CS and life science unit six. So let's start with the CSN and Life Science Unit 6 syllabus for you and uh, if you know this series of videos, if you are watching the series of 13 videos of all this CSN and Life Science Units, you know that for all we are discussing the CSN and Life Science syllabus but the syllabus is color graded, the green is most important, the yellow is moderately important and the red is least important. So let's start with Unit 6, the first one photosynthesis, most important topic from Unit 6. One of the most important topic, photosynthesis, uh, obviously the mechanism of light reactions as well as the Kelvin cycle. But along with that, you need to know the CO2 fixation in C3, C4 and camp plants and the comparison. Every single CS and examination, there will be question from this part of C3, C4 camp plants. The next one is respiration and photorespiration. Uh, in plants, citric acid cycle, plant mitochondrial electron transport, alternate oxidase, None of them. I, I haven't find any question from this, so I don't even color code it. Next is nitrogen metabolism. Earlier, like when we were uh, appearing in the CSN examination, at that time, nitrogen metabolism was a hot cake. Like there, uh, every single session, there were two, one, two question from this topic. But now, for previous three, four examination we are uh, observing, there's no more question from this. So I put in the red color code, nitrogen metabolism, nit nitrate and ammonium assimilation and amino acid biosynthesis part is not that important anymore. Plant hormones are second most important. Okay, biosynthesis of plant hormones, storage, breakdown, transport and cell signaling by these plant hormones, be it uh, five important hormones, so oxygen, cytokinin, gibberellin, ethylene, okay. Uh, and abscisic acid. These are the five hormones that you need to prepare for. Sensory photobiology, very, very important, moderately important here. Structure, function, and mechanism, phytochromes, different forms of the phytochromes, cryptochromes, what are they, how they function, and everything. Very, very important. Next is solute transport and uh, photo assimilate translocation. Now, this is the part of solute transport that is basically, you know, water transport from the soil to the top of the tree and water potential, how water potential is related to the water uptake by the plant cells. Next is uh, the clearance of food from the source to the sink. So, the sucrose that is produced by the plant leaf transported from the leaf to the rest of the part of the cell, how they are transporting. So xylem and phloem both involving movements are equally important. That's a moderate important topic. Secondary metabolites are always there in the syllabus. Uh, they ask question from secondary metabolites, but again, least like among the red color. So lesser importance. Okay. And the last stress physiology. Stress physiology is more important than secondary metabolites and nitrogen metabolism these days. They ask a lot of questions from stress physiology, plant to biotic stress like pathogen and insects, how the plant will react against it and also abiotic stress. Particularly they ask more questions from abiotic stress, stress response by the plants, water, temperature and salt stress response by the plants. Now this is a topic that uh, the botany students are more familiar with. Uh, that you might be less familiar with but apart from the stress physiology part even in the stress physiology you will see involvement of uh, different solutes out there uh, and osmosis play a key role which is a part of cell biology so if you know cell biology very well you will understand units is even very well it will be easy to adapt to unit 6 understanding so these are the units and the topics and subtopics that you should prepare for from unit 6 now let's move on to the question pattern understanding in unit 6 csnet unit 6 csnet plant physiology and we have analytical and memory but again memory based question will be asked more often than analytical because again in the why because you can see the plant hormones they are a name of the hormones the signaling process you need to remember that although the hormonal signaling is something that you can understand but also you need to remember the name so memory based question the weightage will be little higher now part c part b question are equal from unit 6 equal number of part b and part c question you can expect almost equal number of question you can expect and this equal number of question in part C, there will be memory based portions in part C questions from unit 6. So keep this in your mind. So before going into the next part of our discussion, there is five most important topics from this unit. 
let me tell you one simple idea if you enjoy this video if you like this kind of knowledge this kind of information like who someone studies uh, the complete syllabus and give you a clear gist of that syllabus and topic so that you can prepare in the less number of uh, months in the less amount of time to cover most of the syllabus then you can think of joining Shomu's biology online coaching program we have all this tailored for you you can get this ready-made available at your disposal and uh, you can get our study material you can still get some benefit from it so we have different kind of packages depending upon your requirement also depending upon uh, the affordability so you can try out any of our service either study material or our coaching services if you want to get this the link here in this in the description and also we have this number that is popping in this uh, side this is our universal number you can contact this number whatsapp this number the admission for the coaching process will continue and uh, uh, if if obviously we take the students from the admission time frame which is two to two, two and a half months and beyond that time we don't take anyone in the middle so if the admission is going on we'll definitely cater you for that session or i'll tell you to wait for the next session so you can try this out and i believe that nobody is offering two years validity with that much of price point that we are offering so you're going to get everything for two years and two years means four net examinations so it will obviously increase your chance to qualify CS and examination even when you are not in touch with us. So, what are you waiting for? If you wish to join, you can always join in. So, now let's move on to the top 5 must read topics for unit 6. Now, I uh, have crafted this based on the last 10 years CS and question papers. And you can do that as well. You can check this. The, these are the 5 most important. Starting with photosynthesis. C3, C4 camp plants and all these things. Related, anything related to photosynthesis is really important. Next is plant hormones, so very, very important. Third, sensory photobiology, that is equally important, cytochrome, cryptochrome, that part, phytochrome, cryptochrome, that part. Then we have solute transport, that is again, uh, transport via xylem, transport via phloem, water transport, as well as the sucrose transport. And we have stress physiology at the end. So these are the five most important topics that you always must prepare from unit six, plant physiology. So I believe you have a clear idea. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video and watch all the videos of this series to get a clear idea about CS100 Life Science Syllabus, the most important topics for CS100 Life Science, every single unit of CS100 Life Science and have your better chance of qualifying CS100 Life Science examination. So that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.